IMF and the World Bank, they say, Sierra Leone, although they have the wealth there, their dollar should be worth nothing compared to U.S. The IMF and the World Bank are the ones that dictate the dollar for every country. Then they say, we're going to give Sierra Leone $2 million every year for foreign aid. But wait a minute, wait a minute. You just took diamonds from us and gold, and you're going to give us this little measly $2 million? You stole trillions from us. So when it says no man might buy or sell, it's talking about trade, like Wall Street, uh, uh, what is it called? The New York Stock Exchange. Exchange. Go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You have to be following America's policies along with Europe in order to get into that system. 1453, Pope Alexander VI of Rome had Leonardo da Vinci paint his son, Caesar Borgia, as the new Renaissance Jesus. That's the worldwide image you see. Now, slavery. When they brought us on the other side of the world, from here, by the way, how did we start to worship that image? Did we just walk by in our chains and go, hey, I like that white image. I think I'll pray to it. No. They said, bow down and worship. We said, no. They said, and whipped us. And if we didn't, they started with the men. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Then put fear in the rest of us, and we started to worship. That's history. That is our history. Say with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image. See that? If any man worship the beast and his image. And receive his mark. And, and his, receive his policies. In his forehead. In his forehead. Or in his hand. Or in, his, in your hand you support it. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. You're going to be punished. Just poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment. And the smoke of their torment. I said, those of you that worship the beast and his image and receive his call, his policies, whatever it is, okay, ascend it up forever and ever. And they have no rest. Day or night who worship the beast and his image. Worship. Worship. I want to give. <clears throat> I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double to the elder apostles and bishops at the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the for elect tabernacle of David that is scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, once again, this guy, Bishop Nathaniel. See, if, you, if, if, if we were to had took all the footage of various uh, classes that Nate did on this subject throughout the years. I say, let's go back to like 2013. From 2013 up until now, you can create a monage out of all that footage and you'll see how changeable his doctrine is concerning that topic. Very inconsistent. And um, that really lets you know that he really, really, he, it's, it's like as if he knows what it is, but he has to wing it so Vastly That dude is paid off man Cause there's no way you can Just you know wing it like that And change it up You know so often And still leave gray area What the hell is policy What do you mean by policy Notice when he said that, he said whatever it, whatever it is, whatever policy it may be. Huh? And this, is, and this is the reason why you're supposed to pay close attention. When you, know, when you hear somebody speak, you got to really, really like pay close attention to what they're saying, man. That's not like... 
the, 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 the scriptures are direct. You either know what it is or you don't know what it is. Over the years, we've got to learn from this guy that the mark <laughs> is various different things. But he'll keep changing it up. It's, it, it was an embargo a long time ago. It was Christianity and, and sin. Now it's uh, his policies. You have to follow American policy if you want to be able to uh, trade. Well, these nations, they're, they're, they're trading amongst each other. They don't need America. They're creating a system outside of the U.S. dollar. So that means that technically, what they they can't get the mark of the beast, the MOT to the B. This is very flawed. Now let me get a uh, um, quick scripture, man. And when you a zombie, that's all you gotta hear. You don't have to, you know, you, you're not gonna further question it. You're not gonna um, have him further expound. That, that was good enough. All right. Let me get a Sirach 27. And you and you're convinced because the guy, he, he, he speaks with a bit of uh, charisma. You know, he has like a, a certain cadence to him when he when he speaks. But, you know, we we see right through the BS. We see through that Hollywood uh, character. All right. Still not making any sense. Uh, Sirach 27 and verse uh, 5, it says, The furnace proveth the potter's vessel, vessels, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. Okay? It, it, basically, his, his speech, when you, hear, when you hear him talk, that's how you prove if the spirit is really with, with, within him. When uh, uh, John said, uh, try the spirit, by the spirit, whether they be of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Well, you try them by what comes out of their mouth. And if, it, and if it's not in accordance with what the scriptures say, then that's how you know. This guy talking about policies. Be specific. What, what are you talking about? He has a lot of uh, policies. What policy? And then he went back to making it about nations again because he said this is talking about trade. You know, like 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 Wall Street and uh, the stock exchange. So. So you're going to go back to teaching that and not, you know, individual people being able to receive the mark. Wherever they may be, because it said that no, and that no man might buy or sell. He's he referring back to nations again, and then one break. Uh, it was another breakdown where he, he insisted that the mark is basically um, the philosophies, which is that that wine in the cup of of, of Babylon. Remember when he tried to go into that in uh, Revelation. Uh, was it the, the the seventeenth chapter, where where it mentions about that cup? Let me let me let me go to that. Where is it at? I think it's um. Yeah, Revelation 17 and uh, 4 says, And a woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. All right, so you remember when he broke that down? And now I got to go back and, and, and look for the video. I can't, I'm not going to do it right now, but y'all remember. When it says the uh, in his right hand or in his forehead, they went straight to this scripture. 
You see that the, 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 the woman, which is Babylon, she had in her hand full of abominations and the filthiness of her fornication. That's how you get the, the, uh, the mark in your right hand. And then he read the next verse and upon her forehead, see the, in her hand and in her forehead. And it was like, yo, are you serious? What does that have to do with every individual man being able to buy and sell? And then he's still teaching that old, <laughs> that image is not talking about the painting of Chesre, man. That, that, that's, that's still a super old breakdown. The world is already starting to see that that's not that that's not the true image. Uh, 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 Russia, Putin, and them—they pretty much just uh, they just destroyed that, and they and there's and they all are beginning to see what we said, what we've been saying all along is is the truth. So what they're gonna go around and start persecuting us if we don't go back to uh, uh, worshiping the old uh, 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 Renaissance image? Stop it, man. So you see that he's not consistent, all right? And he didn't bring out Revelation 17, all right, the way he broke it down in that one class with the people that he's breaking it down to in this uh, footage. I'm not sure where he is. I think he uh, he's talking about Sierra Leone, so I'm assuming maybe he's there, you know, trying to teach Jake over there. He ain't breaking it down to them the way he was breaking it down in his in his class uh, months ago. And where and what happened to the talk of um, you know the central bank digital currencies? He was starting to you know get closer mentioning that. You don't even hear it now once in this uh, breakdown. Just his his policies. And we're going to give you the Federal Reserve note after we didn't took gold and silver from you and this and that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's I mean, that's just devil for you. But you got to make the, the, the scriptures make sense. You got to simplify what you're saying, man. And Nate, he's supposed to be this, uh, you know, bishop. But he sounded like an amateur who's who's winging it. So once again, <laughs> this man strikes again, man. This is this is terrible. All right, this, the the the, the M O T to the B is 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 the, the the policies, and the image is a uh, chess ray. That that's come on, that's horrible, man. That that means that they really ain't got nothing to worry about then. If you when you you really think about what he's saying, that means that us individuals who have nothing to do with the commerce and you know all these different uh, things. That means that we ain't got nothing to worry about as far as the MOT, the MOTB. That means that we ain't got to deal with the hour of temptation. Because it, cause it's going gonna, it's gonna to try everybody. It's going to come upon everyone. Revelation 3 and uh, 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So we're all going to be, when, when this moment happens, we're all going to be uh, tempted. Our faith is going to be tempted because this uh, system of buying and selling is all going to be connected to this uh, technological uh, uh, system. All right? Where everything's going to go through that particular device which is all going to be uh connected you know to uh 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 the feed the uh the big cloud that everything's going to be uh interconnected the internet of things merging man with a machine fourth industrial revolution And that's and, and we know that that's coming. 
surveillance under the skin. All right, uh, uh, contactless uh, uh, payment, no cash, no cards, you know, waving your hand or putting your head to uh, the kiosk. And if you ain't willing to um, be a part of that and, and, and allow this man to, to physically brand mark you into his system, then you're going to be cut off. You won't be able to buy or sell. You won't meaning you won't be able to eat. You won't be able to work, sell your service. So it's going to be uh, very tempting for all of us. But Nate, he likes to he, he, he likes to create gray areas. And that's why a lot of people that's following him is not looking too good. This is why we get on this dude the way we do. They think it's out of malice, it's out of hate. That's why he'll uh, tell a, 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 a damn small hat and lie to them and say that, you know, we teach that it's all right to, you know, go and, uh, uh, you know, grape a woman. And, and, and that it's all right to steal as long as it's in his spirit. He, he literally went and criminalized us before an uh, uh, enemy. So just his character alone, how could you trust a dude like that? And then he's so accustomed to change. What does scripture say about a man that's uh, constantly changing? Meddle not with them that are given a change. Let me go uh, back to um, Sirach 27. It says, uh, Sirach 27 in, in 6, it says, The fruit declare of the tree have been dressed, so is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of man. Praise no man before thou hearest him speak, for this is the trial of men. All right, and you got to really, really listen to these uh, these people out here, man. It's a lot of uh, false teachers and false prophets among us, and they and, and they usually have a big ass following too, because the Lord, he don't he doesn't want uh, the whole nation, because Israel is as the sand of the sea. There's gonna be many more that that perish than those that be saved, so it makes sense why the Lord will put more false prophets than uh, the true prophets out there. Okay, so let me jump down to verse 11. <clears throat> it says, the discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom, but a fool changeth as the moon. And that's a, hey, that's a double entendre right there because Nate, not only does he uh, change doctrine all the, all the time, he also teaches that the... Um, the uh, the full moon is a new moon, and he's totally off. And I remember when he when his his congregation used to teach that the new moon has nothing to do with uh the Sabbath day. But then when he saw that we was right, he was like, "Well, I gotta still find a way to change the doctrine up, but still go against what they're teaching, so he doesn't have to be fully uh." held accountable so now he went from not a, not agreeing at all that the new moon had anything to do with the sabbath to okay the new moon is a is a, a, a sabbath but it's a full moon and that's not a uh, uh, scriptural if you know how to follow uh the moon in its phases because you know the moon is changes is basically it's uh phases and it changes Every week, there's four weeks in, uh, in, in, in um, every uh, cycle, all right? So, <clears throat> we know that, uh, like, we just kept the Passover. It was a full moon, all right? In the middle of the month, that's when the moon is full. So, Nate, he changes just like the moon when it comes to uh, the topic of uh, the mark of the beast, all right, and, and, and he's going to continue to uh, double down because, you know, he's not really a man of the Lord. Okay, he, he just he, he just not. 
And I think uh, it, is, it has to do with uh, him being compromised because he knows the truth. You know, some of his latest breakdowns, he, he was getting closer and closer to the truth. But then this comes out. So, you know, and, and, and money is it, it blinds you, you know, it really do. Who is that at uh, Sirach 20? <laughs> Let me uh, try to find it real quick. Yeah, Sirach 20 and uh, 29, it says, Presence and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. You know, and they'll, re they'll reprove when it comes to, you know, marriage and, you know, things contained in the law. But God forbid you go into the, the MOT to the B. That's when we want to start acting like, you know, <laughs> you know, we... we we don't have a, 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 a full idea of what it is, but it could be this. It could be that. You know, it's his policies, whatever it may be. Like, huh? It's like, do you really know or do you don't know? And if you don't know, why are you why are you even speaking on it? Why are you trying to break it down? You know, let me get this scripture. I think all the camps outside of uh, Sakari needs to like leave this topic alone and just let you know, like you should really let leave it to us to break uh, break down the um, the image and the mark, man. The rest of you do y'all just wing it. Uh, Sirach three and verse. Uh, Sirach 3 and verse um, 25, it says, Without eyes thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. If you, if you don't know, then just it's best not to even go into it. Because otherwise you're going to be adding to the word, you're going to be taken away from the word, and you're going to be in uh, danger. It's best to 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 not know something and don't speak on it versus not knowing something, but then you trying to uh, uh, break it down because it, it it makes you look bad every time you speak. <clears throat> Let me go to uh five. So Rock 5 and verse uh, 9, it says, Win or not with every wind, and that represents uh, every doctrine that's out there. And go not into every way. And that's for you Jakes that be, uh, you know, you like to watch every different Israelite group. Not every Israelite group teach the same on, on different things. So if you uh, call yourself watching this camp and then going from that to watch another camp, you either watching it for entertainment or you're watching not understanding that you're being tossed to and fro. And you're going to be confused. And when you think that you can get out there and start teaching, you're going to be teaching the wrong stuff. And you're going to be deceiving your, your, uh, your listeners, your viewers. You got to fact check everything. It says, win or not with every win and go not into every way. For so do of the sinner that have a double tongue. And, you know, Nate, you know, he's double tongue because he's double minded. He's always uh, called him ambivalent Nate. Because he, he he's never consistent when it comes to uh, some of these uh, topics. The, uh, the, uh, Jacob's trouble. 
You know, he's teaching one thing and then he gets rebuked. Then he comes back and, and, and say that, oh, no, we've been saying this. But you, you know, you try to play mind games. Double tongued, man. He says, be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. That, that, that means that we all got to speak the same thing. They got to be uh, consistent. Okay. Now, there's nothing wrong with correcting, you know, making corrections in, 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 in you know, what you're teaching and admitting that, okay, yeah, we was wrong on this. And then actually prove, you know, what you're uh, uh, presenting. But you see that we ain't, we're, we're, we're steadfast with what we're teaching. We ain't never switched up. You can go and watch a video from us from 10, 12, 13 years ago, and you'll see that, see that it's still the same. All right. And let me jump down to verse. Uh, let me just keep reading. It says, be swift to hear. Let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer. If thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. And, you know, you do yourself a service by just, you know, shutting the hell up. Don't even go into it if you don't know it. Because somebody will go and analyze what you're saying and they will pick it apart. And that's much, that's very much what we do and they can't stand us for that. <laughs> you know? Because we're like those um, uh, palates that, you know, we we go tasting, you know, these uh, different meats. And if it ain't tasting right, we're going to let you know it don't taste right. Especially the apostles and elders, because they're 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 uh, you know seasoned at this man. They're they're of age, full of experience, so they they already know. It says honor and shame is in talk, and the tongue of man is his fall. And Nate stays uh, his tongue stays falling upon himself when it comes to this uh, subject. All right. And I shouldn't even have to go into uh, Revelation 13. Y'all already know it. Y'all know the, the breakdown like the back of y'all hand at this point. All right. Y'all know that this is going to be a physical mark that, you know, he's going to impose for all the, the, the world to, to, to receive. All right. Whether in your hand or whether in your head. And you won't be able to buy or sell. You won't be able to do no financial transactions without it because it's now a part of the system. And you go into a lot of these stores, it's, it, everything's starting to become uh, digital. Okay? It's all digital now. Digital gas stations. Di all digital uh, smart stores at, the, uh, uh, at different airports. You got Whole Foods going cashless. So the system is already uh, set up. So, yeah, man, I, I had to, uh, you know, do my response, you know, after I heard this, man. This, this dude, he's, he's, this dude's wicked, man. That's all I can really say. And he's not going to switch up. He's not going to repent. So we already know uh, what's in stores for a guy like Nate and his followers if they don't uh, come up out of that. So... Yeah, I'm going to end the lesson right there. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be much more responses. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashim, y'all shy. And until the next lesson, shalom.